if we're looking at those reports from a cost perspective, you can get a little bit more granular with what does this mean for us? So uh, we have advisory uh, built into the platform here. So if you click on, for example, uh, the potential savings here within the AWS accounts that we're connected to in a production scenario, this is just my lab. These numbers are usually quite a bit higher. Um, but you get a snapshot anyway of the, you know, the unused resources that we're displaying are things that, you know, may be idle or, or have low CPU, disk, IO, these types of things. And then on the right-hand side, you see the cost of the business, right? So there, there is a, uh, a dollar amount associated with these idle services just sitting out in cloud. And, and sometimes, um, you know, there's an opportunity to reclaim some of that by either shutting them down or, or just terminating them in general. Under the unoptimized portion of things, this is uh, getting into the right sizing opportunities that we have. Um, so if some of those resources are, are you know, better served at a, at a different uh, tier, we can certainly boil those up. And then from there, um, we can actually set up an automation. So if you click on the gear here to create an automation, this allows you to set in automation for um, a very common use case um, would be power scheduling, right? So I'll, I'll run through that just as a quick example. The, the right sizing is, is in the power scheduler here as well. Um, so we'll do test power schedule. And from the menu here, you can select the, the job type that you're creating. So this is where that automation comes in. Either we're stopping and starting it on a daily basis, we're terminating it altogether with an opt out for the business um, to, you know, essentially prevent that from happening, but the capability does exist there if we wanna do that. For this particular example, I'll just go through kind of a start and stop scenario. Um, a lot of folks will um, put in, you know, by tag here, if we do say environment does not equal production. And then we add in that tag filter. You can see any of the apl applicable services here in the list um, that would be in scope or in target for this. So if we say anything that is non-prod, we're going to power off, say at five o'clock and then and start everything back up again in the morning. And so it's not running all night. You know, you don't want to leave your TV on while you're sleeping or, or your car running in the driveway, if that makes sense. Um, some notification options here and then the time schedule. So we'd set the start and stop time and anything that we wanted to do from a repeat perspective, like a daily job, it would just go ahead and, and uh, based on the filters that we've set in place, take care of all that for you. Um, so that, it, you know, the, cl the cloud engineers can focus on things that uh, are driving revenue to the business and innovation rather than um, sitting in the, the AWS or Azure consoles, trying to figure that out and, and manage those. 